Hi guys, hope this video finds you all doing well. Uh, this is for senior high history. We're going to co cover the reading pages uh, 359 through 370. So it's for Tuesday and for Wednesday. And we're just going to go over all of the important things for you to highlight and kind of remember here. So on page 359, uh, very first thing for you to highlight is uh, liberalism. So know this word and then know the definition for it, liberalism. Uh, or liberal is someone who desires freedom from something or freedom to do something. Now, in a lot of ways, uh, liberalism can be used in a good sense. Sometimes we'll talk about a liberal arts education. This is something that frees someone to think for themselves rather than having someone think for them. Unfortunately, in a lot of modern contexts, liberal kind of means the opposite of that. Uh, people who are liberals are often told to taught, uh, told to think only what they are taught, rather than you know thinking for themselves. Uh, so modern liberalism, know the definition for this. This is the desire to be free from absolute standards and morals, especially those of the scriptures. Uh, highlight they believe that man is basically good and that is exactly where they go wrong. Uh, man at his very heart is a sinful being. We know that from the very beginning of Genesis. So they go very wrong just in that very first idea there. And uh, liberalism highlight that it wants to free man from authority, order, restraint, and responsibility. Now, what this unfortunately often leads to is imposed restraints of government control over life because people simply refuse to control themselves. So, not good. Turning the page, uh, the antidote to liberalism is conservatism. So, highlight conservatism on page 360 and that this is the principle or practice of conserving or preserving established traditions or institutions and opposing changes. Uh, and many Western conservatives believe that there are eternal values that need to be preserved in human thought and action, and it's uh, seeking to preserve the Judeo-Christian heritage that has made Western civilization great. Uh, you've got six things listed there that Western conservatism uh, emphasizes. We're not going to go through or highlight all of them, but make sure that in your reading, uh, you're reading over those and understanding uh, what conservatism uh, beliefs here. Uh, on the next column, highlight those bold words there. The most powerful conservative force through the ages has been the Bible. After all, it teaches us those established traditions that have been around since the beginning of time that God himself set up. And uh, it teaches us uh, how to rely on God, it teaches us that man is not good by nature and that we need uh, the forgiveness of Jesus Christ to uh, be good in God's eyes. Now let's check out the liberal pseudosciences. Uh, know this term, positivism. And know the French philosopher who taught this. His name was Auguste Comte. So highlight him as well. Know what positive, positivism is here. It states that nothing can be known except observable scientific facts. Now, this is similar to empiricism, which we've discussed before, uh, so be familiar with this again. This is the belief that experience is the only source of knowledge. So the human mind cannot be observed. So how do we know that the human mind exists? We've never seen it. So positivism, nothing can be known except observable scientific facts. So obviously this would uh, deny the existence of God because God cannot be seen. So very dangerous philosophy there. Now uh, on the next page, the next person to know is Sigmund Freud. And know that he was an Austrian psychiatrist and that he premiered psychology or study of the mind highlight that he formulated a system known as psychoanalysis. And this says that subconscious physical drives or irrational fears determine a man's actions. According to Freud, man is not responsible for his own behavior. 
and that any guilt experienced by someone over his actions can be relieved by blaming his subconscious drives. This is very dangerous because it's if people aren't responsible for their own actions, how could they be held accountable for them? How can a man be sent to jail for killing someone when it was his subconscious drives that caused him to do it? So all in all, a very dangerous philosophy put forth by Freud here.